Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kompor, Malaysia. And this is the sharpest F0.95 lens I've encountered so far. This is the Brighting Star 35mm F0.95. And I'm gonna talk about this lens in this video. Let's do this. Before we start, here are some important disclaimers. This is not my lens. It was sent to me by Brighting Star. In our communication, I made sure that they understand they have no control whatsoever in this video and I'm free to say whatever I want to say about this lens. Usually, I will reject requests to review third-party lenses, especially manual-focusing lenses. I've always said that no autofocus, no go for Robin. And I believe that life is too short for manual-focusing especially for the kind of shots that I usually do, moving subjects, fast-paced actions, I think autofocus is just the way to go. Anyways, I got curious about this super bright f0.95 aperture lens. Both Panasonic and Olympus, they do not have f0.95 lenses yet. So I was generally curious to see what this lens can do, that's why I said yes. I brought this Brighting Star 35mm f0.95 lens to test on the streets, both during the day and night time, we got some really interesting shots. And in my conclusion, I think that this is perhaps the sharpest F0.95 third-party manufacturer lens that I've encountered so far. But first, let's take a look at some shots. I really like the look and feel of this Brighting Star 35mm f0.95 lens. It is in all black, it looks minimalist, it looks very sleek, it matches the design of my camera bodies very well. There's even some yellow markings on the lens that resembles the design of some Leica lenses. The build quality of the lens is Excellent! It is made of full metal construction. Brighting Star claims that the material they use is aviation aluminum. It feels really solid and reassuring. It doesn't feel like a cheap lens at all, despite its price tag. There are only two controls on the lens itself. The focusing ring, which is very smooth and easy to operate. I can easily nail critical focus, no issue whatsoever. And the other control is the aperture ring. The aperture ring to control the F number, it is click so that every time you turn the aperture ring, it clicks in position. You can easily tell which aperture you're getting to from f0.95 to f1.4 to f2 to f2.8. I think that helps greatly for photography or stills shooting and it may not be the suitable lens if you're doing video. I use this Brighting Star 35mm f0.95 lens on my Olympus OM1 body and I have no issue whatsoever balancing the lens on the camera body. The lens itself is not very light. It weighs about 370 grams. I think that's quite heavy for such a small lens, but it is understandably so because this is a bright f0.95 lens. But I don't feel any discomfort whatsoever. The lens balances very well on my OM1 camera. The handling is really good. I've been shooting with this on the streets for several hours. No issue whatsoever.
When I get my hands on this lens, my initial expectations was very low. This is based on my previous experience with bright aperture manual lenses. I had a Kamlan F1.1 before. I also tested the 7 Artisans F0.95 lenses before. And the results were typically the same. At bright open apertures, it was usually very soft. It's not at the level of sharpness that I'm satisfied with. However, having tested this Bretting Star 35mm F0.95 extensively, the results exceeded my expectations. Even at wide open F0.95, the images already come out very, very sharp. I was actually already very impressed with the level of sharpness, fine details and contrast that this lens can render even shooting at F0.95. Of course, the sharpness improves as you stop down to F1.4, F2, and of course, the optimum sharpness was achieved at around F2.8 or F4. But to be honest, I was already very happy with what I can get from this lens and F0.95. And that itself truly makes this lens special and it stands out from the rest of the crowd. I know I haven't tested all the F0.95 lenses out there, but so far, of all the lenses I've tried, this is the sharpest I've encountered and I have no issue using this lens wide open. And that's the reason why you want to get an F0.95 lens. You want to shoot at F0.95. In terms of bokeh quality, the out of focus area, the blur is looking very smooth, very creamy. It is not nervous, it is not harsh, it is not distracting, it looks really nice and because of this nice dreamy blurry background at, at f0.95 you can really render some shallow depth of feel combined with incredible sharpness even a wide open f0.95 i think this is one of the great lenses i can recommend if you want to do portraiture work using a manual lens Being a budget lens, I expect this Bratting Star 35mm to come with some limitations. The lens does exhibit some barrel distortion. If you have straight lines at the edges of your images, you can see that the lines do not appear perfectly straight. There is some curvature, but it is not a big problem. You can easily correct the distortion in any software of your choice. The lens does have some flaring issue. If you shoot the lens against strong sources of light, it flares easily. And there's also some ghosting, there's this big blob of light, and it's very destructive to the images. I don't think you can correct this easily, and you just have to be very careful shooting this lens against any bright sources of light. It doesn't help that Bratting Star doesn't include a lens hood. The lens also has some corner softness issues that is to be expected from a bright aperture lens. I don't expect an F0.95 prime lens to have corner to corner and edge to edge sharpness, especially at this low asking price. At f0.95, the corner is very soft. If you want to get sharp corners, I highly recommend that you stop down to aperture f2.8 or f4. In terms of chromatic aberration, it is quite severe. If you show a bright open aperture f0.95 against any high contrast areas, you'll get really bad purple fringing. So to control this purple fringing, all you have to do is just stop down to f4 and the purple fringing or any chromatic aberration problem will be minimized. Alternatively, you can also correct this in software. The last I checked, the price of this Bratting Star 35mm f0.95 lens is about 179 US dollars. I think that's really worth it for what this lens can do. It gives you really sharp results, even bright open aperture at f0.95, and you get really shallow depth of feel, very nice, blurry, creamy bokeh. And yes, there are some technical flaws there and here. There's severe flaring, there's some purple fringing issues 
but I don't think any of these are deal breakers considering how low the price point is. And I do think that it is the right lens if you want to do some serious portraiture work. My only wish is that this lens has autofocus. And that's the reason why I think we should support these third party manufacturers because, hey, maybe in the future, sometime soon, they'll include autofocus in one of these F0.95 lenses. And that will be awesome. That's all I have to share about this Bratting Star 35mm f0.95 lens. If you have enjoyed looking at my photographs and you found my sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how I can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.